for joining us. The Lewis and Clark County coroner has released the name of the man killed in a Thursday morning crash outside of Augusta. Authorities were dispatched to Highway 287 just northeast of Augusta around 630 Thursday morning. When they arrived, they found 56 year old Michael DeWalder, the lone occupant of the vehicle. According to trooper Amanda Villa, it appears DeWalder drifted off of the road and hit a tree. She says speed could be a factor in the crash. DeWalder was wearing a seatbelt. The crash remains under investigation. Montana law enforcement officers are reminding drivers to please be safe and make good decisions while out on the roads. According to the Montana Highway Patrol, there have been at least eight fatal crashes on Montana roads so far in July, including four separate unrelated fatal crashes on Thursday. MHP says the leading contributors of vehicle fatalities are not wearing a seatbelt, speed and impairment of some kind. Sheriff Leo Dutton of Lewis and Clark County recommends if people know they're going to be drinking to plan ahead so that someone doesn't harm themselves or others by driving. And that's what that's we what we want for our Montana roads. That's why we're out there. We're not out there trying to raise funds. We're trying to, uh, to prevent deaths, needless death, and uh, just keep our keep our citizens safe. Law enforcement would also like to remind people that increased patrols scheduled over the holiday week will continue through the weekend. Well, we could see some quick blasts of storms moving through our region. We're seeing that out east right now. Katie, where are some of those storms? Are we seeing an impact from them after right now? They're pretty quick moving and kind of dying down as of right now, but uh, these are pretty quick uh, but small storms, okay. and uh, it's going to uh, be moving out fairly quickly. Uh, the main concern for today and for the weekend is uh, this red flag warning, the first red flag warning of July. We've had lots of hot and breezy weather today. It's been up in the triple digits in lots of areas. Also a, uh, a ex heat advisory out in northeastern Montana. So here is that little small thunderstorm moving just northeast of Lewistown, kind of losing steam as it moves northeast. And these pop-up thunderstorms are going to uh, continue kind of here and there. We do have a small chance of those moving through our area a little bit further west. For the weekend, we're looking at some hot temperatures, although today is the hottest day. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday will be cooling off slightly, but we will still have warm temperatures, so if you have outdoor plans, you may want to make sure that you are prepared for that. And the breezy and dry conditions are going to continue through the weekend and next week, which will set us up into fire season. I'll have the details coming up in the full forecast. All right, thank you. We'll see you soon. A hot and dry forecast has some local fire departments closely monitoring the fire conditions. Departments are keeping a close eye on what's called the energy release component. That tells them how severe a potential fire might be, and it also helps determine the best way to attack the flames. Right now, conditions are better than they were at this time last year. You may have noticed there's still lots of green vegetation around our area. However, fire officials warn those conditions can change very quickly, sometimes in a matter of days or even hours. As a precaution, open burning was suspended in the Lincoln and Augusta areas earlier this week. County officials use the energy release component to decide whether or not to allow burning. Tri Lakes Fire Chief Bobby Drake said even though open burning is allowed in other parts of Lewis and Clark County, it doesn't mean it's a good idea to burn. If you light it, you own it. So if you light a debris burn and walk away from it and it gets away, then the houses it burns, the timber it burns, whatever it burns is, is your responsibility. And, you know, don't, don't take that lightly. Tri Lakes Fire said it did respond to a couple of fire calls related to 4th of July fireworks this week, but fortunately those fires were quickly brought under control. The bodies of three people who went over one of Canada's tallest waterfalls have been recovered. Canadian authorities said today search teams recovered the bodies of three people who were in their 20s and 30s. The victims have been identified as a travel as travel bloggers, Riker Gamble, Alexi Lyak and Megan Scraper, who contributed to a popular YouTube blog called High on Life. Police said the three were swimming in a pool at the top of the falls and then walked along a ledge afterwards. Shannon Falls is one of the tallest waterfalls in Canada at almost 1100 feet. They fell.